magandang araw sa lahat panibagong lesson na naman dahil meron tayong panibagong araw ngayon so ang pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw na to ay uh, ang division of polynomials pero ngayong araw na to uh, yung uh, long method ang ating uh, pag-aaralan so tingnan natin mabuti kapag ang mga estudyante nakikita ito karaniwan sila ay uh, nahihirapan pero balikan natin ang basic ng pag-aaral ng division halimbawa meron tayong 178 divided by 3 ang una natin gagawin ay i-divide ang 17 by 3. So, ito yung part na yan. I-divide natin by 3 and we'll be having the answer of 5. So, tandaan, division ang unang gagawin. Ikalawa, ay imumultiply na natin itong naging sagot natin sa ating divisor. So, it means we'll be having 5 times 3 and we all know that's equal to 15. Sulat natin ang 15 dyan. Tapos, subtraction ang susunod. So, after ng subtraction, uh, kailangan natin muna palang isubtract ang 17 minus 15 so ang ating difference of that is equal to 2 and uulitin ko lang division multiplication subtraction and then after subtraction we'll be bringing down the next term so if we bring down natin So, ang 2 natin dito ay magiging 28. So, nung, nung ating ma-bring down, babalik na tayo sa umpisa. After natin ma-bring down ang next term, uulitin natin itong apat na to. Yun nga lang, dito natin gagawin sa 28. So, it means, we need to divide 28 just like the first Uh, process or uh, pre first uh, procedure natin first step so we need to divide multiply subtract and if ever na merong uh, ibibring down ibring down pa rin so since wala na tayong next part doon big sabihin we need to divide 28 so this one is division by 3 is equal to 9 then multiply 9 times 3 27 and then subtract 28 minus 27 is 1 so hindi na natin uh, dadaanan itong bring down dahil wala na tayong next term ganun din ang process sa polynomial natin kung magdi-divide tayo ng polynomials we have to remember na kailangan nating mag-divide mag-multiply mag-subtract at mag-bring down ng next term let's go to the example pero kung hindi pa hindi pa tayo masyadong convinced review muna tayo When it comes to multiplication and to division, when we multiply and divide na pareho ng uh, symbol, let's say both are negative and both are positive, the product or the quotient will always be equal to positive. So katulad nito, So, mapapansin nyo, parehong negative, parehong positive. Ang answer natin ay positive. 
So, dito, para yung positive, para yung negative, ang answer natin ay positive. And, yung mga next uh, equations natin, we ended up with a negative answer. And, uh, here is a negative uh, answer also. Simply because, magkaiba yung kanilang uh, sign ng mga perform natin through division and through multiplication. So, yun lang ang pinakamahalagang part ng division natin dito. And also, when we uh, when we multiply, we add the uh, exponents kung pareho yan ng variable. So, we have your x raised to 2 and x raised to 1 we add the exponents 2 and then 1 so it's equivalent to 3 and that is after multiplication of 3 and 2 we have 6 when it comes to division obviously it's the opposite of multiplication so if we add kung nag add tayo ng uh, exponent so subtract na tayo ng exponent dito. So, we have 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Siyempre, na-divide muna yung 6 at saka yung 2. That is why we have 3x squared. Multiplication, mag-add ng exponent. And uh, sa division, mag-subtract ng exponent. Proceed na tayo sa example natin. Bago natin daanan lahat ng to, siguraduhin na ang dividend ay naka-arrange into decreasing order ng a power or yung pinakamataas na exponent na 5x squared ay dapat nasa unahan or kahit ano pa mang term na given hanggang sa huli ay ang constant term. So, it should be raised to here. In, on, on our example, it's raised to 2. Yung x squared natin, raised to 1. And then, the constant term. And, we have the divisor x plus 1. So, paano tayo nagdi-divide? Kapag sigurado na tayo na naka-arrange na yung ating uh, polynomials in decreasing order in terms of uh, power, pwede na tayo mag-proceed. So, in uh, div division, so alam natin, sinabi natin kanina, sa simpleng uh, division of numbers, nagdi-divide tayo, nagmumultiply, nagsusubtract, at nagbibring down ng next term. So, mag-divide muna tayo. Yung first term muna para hindi kayo malito. Yung first term should be divided by the first term. So, dividend tayo divided by the divisor. So, 5x squared divided by x. Ulitin natin ang division. Nag-subtract tayo ng exponent. So, ito ay magiging 5 divided by 1. Yung coefficient niya. 5 x squared divided by x is x nag divide tayo after nun mag multiply na tayo so we are done with division mag multiply tayo ng kung ano man ang naging quotient natin which is 5x i e divide natin by x I mean i multiply so let us multiply 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times x or times 1 is 5x. So, after ng multiplication, magsusubtract na tayo. That is why we have a subtraction sign here. So, paano tayo nagsusubtract? Of course, we change the sign of the subtrahend. Ito yung subtrahend natin. 
Ito yung menu end. So, yung subtrahend natin, change the sign. From positive, magiging negative. From positive, magiging negative. So, 5x squared minus uh, 5x squared is 0. Again, it's subtraction. So, if you change some sign of subtrahend, and proceed to addition. Kapag nag-add tayo ng isang positive ng isang negative, we have here zero. Pag nag-add tayo ng positive and negative, of course, kung ano yung mas malaki sa kanila, yun ang kukunin nating sign. So, we have negative 2, x. Okay? Subtract ang magkaiba ng sign. And then, bring down the next term. The next term is negative 2. We'll be bringing it down. And then, after na ma-bring down yan, i-divide ulit natin. Ano ang i-divide? So, balik tayo sa umpisa. Mag-divide tayo. But this time, it's negative 2x divided by x. So, we have 2 because uh, negative 2x divided by x, we simply cancel this part and we have negative 2. Okay. Let us uh, remove this part. And then after na mag-divide, we then now multiply. And uh, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then subtraction ulit tayo. Change the sign. This will become positive. This will become positive. And proceed to addition. Pag nag-add tayo, magkaiba ng sign. Since pareha sila ng uh, coefficient pero magkaiba ng sign, pareho din ng variable. So, it means we have a zero for the difference. So, now we have the quotient of 5x squared plus 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1. And that's it. We have the quotient which is 5x minus 2. Just remember, arrange the uh, polynomial in decreasing order in terms of power, perform division, multiplication, uh, subtraction, and then bring down the next term. And repeatedly, kapag meron, na, meron pa rin kayong uh, next term, ulit-ulitin nyo lang yon. Okay? But if ever that you have a you have an, uh, a remainder you have to write it in the form uh, like for example uh, here we have uh, 0 over the divisor x plus 1. Pero kung wala namang uh, uh, remainder, pwede nang hindi isulat. So, that's it. And, uh, sana may natutunan kayo. Maraming salamat. At, uh, see you again on my uh, next